In today's video, we are opening an ultimate rare old school collection. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video opening some amazing cards in this collection, but first we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these 14 Darkwing Blast first edition packs. There's a $17 super in here, there's a $50 ultra rare, so could be some pretty good packs. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. And I wanna remind you guys to go check out the community tab if you haven't yet, because there you can see if you want a giveaway. Also, speaking of giveaways, if you get a Telegram comment in the comments, that is a scammer. I've said this many times, but not enough apparently, because a lot of people are still asking me, is this a scammer? But it feels like most of you guys are knowing at this point, but I just wanna remind you guys one more time, let's hop into the binder. This is a binder opening, you guys know how that goes. So we're gonna cut from the face cam, go right to just the binder footage so you guys can see it really well, and we'll hop back and forth between that. All right. So so we have an Ojama King. This is a bunch of ultimate rares and secret rares from GX for the most part. We got a Venominaga, very nice. There's a new one. There's the Arm Dragon level 10. That's actually a really cheap ultimate rare, which is kind of weird. We've got the Burst, uh, oh, there I am. Look, face cam. We've got the uh, Burst Stream of Destruction. We've got ourselves a bunch of decent stuff. Okay, a little bit of old school here, which is nice. All right, Tour Guide from the Underworld. That's first edition and first edition Ring of Destruction. Then over here we have, oh, the Sacred Beasts from Shadow of Infinity. The ones we have never pulled, by the way. Yeah. Cyberdark Dragon Armatile. Very nice. First edition Mystical Elf. I mean, we're looking at some good stuff. Stardust Dragon Unlimited. We got Destiny and Dragoon. I mean, there's a lot of really, really nice stuff in here. Call of the Haunted. We've got our Old Vindictive. Is that from Champion Pack? That's really nice. We've got ourselves the Ojama King First Edition, which is cool. The, ooh. Play a little uh, Diamond Dew Turbo over here. Very nice. D time, little D time, you know what I'm saying? All right, next we have uh, Elemental Hero Tempest. That's an ultra rare, unfortunately. That'd be really cool if it wasn't, uh, if, you know, the ultimate rare. We've got the Flame Wingman. Should have brought that to get signed by Jaden. That would have been pretty cool. I didn't get anything signed because lines were pretty long and I, I missed them, unfortunately. We've got Dark Neos. So these are all appear to be ultra rares for the most part. See if we see any ultimate rares. These all look like to be their ultra rares, which is still a really cool collection. All right, Inferno Wing. We've got Thunder Giant, Flame Wingman. We've got some secret rare stuff. These are from the uh, the EHC. These are actually pretty valuable secret rare versions of the Elemental Heroes, which is pretty cool. Sparkman, all the vanillas. The Emergency Call. We got El uh, the Hero Blast. Okay, I was about to say Elemental Hero Blast, which is basically is. It just doesn't say that. All right, very nice. Skyscraper is pretty cool for the heroes. If you play that in a Skyscraper hero deck back in Edison, Miracle Fusion is really, really nice. Gonna end up hanging on to that one probably for my uh, Edison deck. The Secret Rare, Neos. He finally did get a nice printing in the Pharaoh Rare, but that took him a really long time. There's a uh, Wing Karibo, Wing Karibo level 10, Transcendent Wings. I love that set. That's cool to actually have. Grand Moles in here. Oh, okay, we got the Dark Panther. It's sliding out a little bit. Let's fix that. We've got Flare Scarab, we've got Hummingbird, another Wing Karibo. Wow, that's really cool. All right, now we've got Air Neos, the Forbidden Yu-Gi-Oh card. Another element. Man, this is a really nice hero collection. This is really cool. Magma Neos, we've got Gaia, we've got Two Bubble Man, we've got the Lightning Golem. Man, this is super nice. Rainbow Neos Ghost Rare. If that's in near mint, I would probably actually need that for my collection of, you know, the binder collection we've been doing. A couple of Wild Wing Man, those need to get back in there we got a call oh, here are the ulties okay plasma vice from glass then we've got two flame wingman we've got a couple of thunder giant we've got a dark bright beautiful really really cool rampart blasters wow we've got a oh, wow okay this is a really really nice collection this is going to be really expensive <laughs> oh my goodness we've got the glow neos and yeah make sure to let me know in the comments how much we should pay for this but this is going to be a pretty big one that's a uh, an unlimited tempest if it was first edition we would probably be broke right now we've got a oh Pot of Greed, what does it do? I'm not sure what that says. Chaos Neos, beautiful. I think I need that one. That's really, really nice. And then we've got Glow Neos, and is this the, uh, I think that's the gold letter. Yeah, so that's actually the real one, which is cool. Then we have Grand Neos. Oh my gosh, look at these. Thunder Giant, insane. Like, this is insane, oh my gosh. UFO Road Fighter, a favorite of mine, I like that. Cyber Twin, three Ancient Gear Golems. Oh my gosh. We've got a couple of Flame Wingman, one Unlimited, one First Edition. Oh my goodness, wait. We will be checking out some of these afterward. Like, we're going to get cl up close and personal with some of these. Don't skip that. That's a Needleworm TP3, by the way. Oh my gosh, yeah. So, I am going to be purchasing this. I know sometimes I don't purchase them. Uh, we are most likely going to be purchasing this because we've kind of discussed the terms ahead of time a little bit. So yeah, hit me up if you want any of these. It should be working out. I think one of the recent collection videos I didn't end up purchasing, but... Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> what in the world? Okay, we're, okay. This is this is gonna be a big collection. That is the Sacred Beast Ultimate Rare. Wow. Oh my gosh. And there's another one right there that's unlimited. Oh my goodness. DDS Dark Magician. This is maybe the biggest collection we've ever bought. Wow. The uh, the Phoenix Enforcer. The Cyber and Dragon. Oh, there's an Ultimate Rare Forbidden Yu-Gi-Oh card. Wow. This is insane. This is insane. Super Poly. He kind of told me what he had, but I kind of forgot how much was it. I don't think I read all the cards because this is insane. I think I need that card. <laughs> That's like a $20 card. And I'm like, oh, I need that card. Overlord Fusion, also really nice. Oh, the uh, is that Rush Tool? Very nice. Okay, we've got a Rampart Blaster. Then we've got a another Chaos Neos, which is cool. Hopefully one of those is really nice. Okay, I'm, I'm going to have to get that out later. But we've got uh, another Wingman, a Cyber Dark Dragon, and a Cyber In Dragon. Wow. All right, let's see if that is the end because... Okay, whoa, Rust Tool, we got Pot of Greed, we got Ash Blossom, and then another Dark Magician Girl. I think that's the end. So ending it with a little Rush Tool. All right, let's get up close and personal with some of these and just see what they're looking like. All right, let's check out a few of these cards, see what they're looking like. First, the Utopia Ray, which first of all is hitting right now. Check this thing out. It does have some scratching on it, which you guys can see. I always think that it's weird how these like these lines here, they're actually supposed to be there. It's kind of weird. They kind of look like scratches. Uh, there's a few scratches on here. It's actually pretty nice overall. I'm pretty excited about that. I'd say it's near mint. Uh, it's hard to have a ghost with no scratches. So just a few scratches I usually consider near mint. I might actually need this because it's unlimited. So those unlimiteds are kind of weird to find. So I'm definitely happy to have that. I just checked that one out for my binder. But for the rest, let's check out some nice ones. We have an Air Neos here. All right, we had a triple sleeved card. So that's nice. We have Air Neos, the Forbidden Yu-Gi-Oh card, Ultimate Rare. Can't tell if there's something going on down there. Let's see. This card looks really nice on the front. And nice on the back. It does have... Of course, the imprint, which is not really a condition thing. So like, you know, if it's like at least near mint, then that's good. You know, that's all we're really looking for. It doesn't have to be like PSA 10 condition. That looks really good, though. Uh, that is definitely near mint. Forbidden Yu-Gi-Oh card. Beautiful. All right. That's I mean, that's a nice card. So uh, this is going to be quite the collection for sure. This is a very nice collection. Let's see. So these are all triple sleeved. I'm going to try and pull them out very, very carefully. These small sleeves are kind of sketched sometimes, but it looks like they're coming out pretty decently. So... We have the Cyber End Dragon. This is an ultimate rare. This is not the Euro print. This is the NA print. You can tell because it's a little flatter, not as much texture. Back looks really, really nice for sure. Oh, wow. That looks really, really good. Okay. So we're talking like very good condition on some of these cards. So this is going to be... <laughs> this is going to be an expensive collection. All right. Here's a card that I don't know if I've ever owned. Maybe like owned once or something, but I don't own one now. Dark Magician from DDS, the game promo. This is before they switched to the CRU and the, you know, the, the pink guy and all that stuff. All right, let's, uh, let's get this thing out of the triple sleeving. Be careful with it because all these cards appear to be in great shape. Dark Magician, DDS. Okay, back. Got some weird stuff going on with it. What is that? I don't know what that is. We're going to have to check that one out. So I don't know. I don't know about that one. The front looks good. It's got some weird stuff on the back, but... I mean, it's not like bent or anything, which is good. You know, that's always a good thing. So Dark Magician, we'll check that one out later. Just one more quick look at that. That looks great. The DDS just has a really nice pattern to it. All right, Sacred Beast time. Let's go. Wow, Uriah, First Edition, Lord of Searing Flames. Okay, these look really, really good. This one's not as perfect as some of the other ones, but it's still pretty good condition overall. Very nice, Uriah, Lord of Searing Flames. Very beautiful. All right, Raviel, let's see how he's looking. All right, so that was definitely, I would say, okay, but maybe the Dark Magician was the worst. That was like one of the worst conditions and it was still looking pretty good, you know, compared to some of the collections we've picked up recently, which have, you know, had some, you know, more played or old school cards that people played with. Raviel, Lord of Phantasms. That looks really nice. Wow. Check these cards out. We are talking about some serious cardboard today. We are talking about some nice cardboard. That definitely has some scratching on it. So we're not looking at near mint probably on that one, but still very nice card either way. Beautiful. All right. Haman time. So far, these, these two have been like maybe like lightly played, something like that. I'll have to really check them again, but they looked for the most part pretty good besides the back scratching. Oh, this one was not three, three sleeved. It was only two sleeved. Okay. Hamon Lord of Striking Thunder, Ultimate Rare. Looks pretty good. A little bit of edge wear at the top, maybe. Back, actually not bad. Like a slight stuff in the middle. But overall, this one's pretty decent. Honestly, they're all in decent condition. They're just not like, you know, mint or whatever. Just give those a look. Ultimate Rares. That is insane. You don't see those very often. I mean, those are expensive cards for sure. All right, now we have the Rainbow Neos from Phantom Darkness. Just unlimited, but wow. The... Ghost Rares, guys, they look so good. The originals especially. Wow. All right, looking good, looking good. Slight scuffing, but overall, very nice card here. 
I mean, that's probably near mint, I would say. Beautiful, beautiful rainbow Neos. Now we have a TP3 worm. I haven't had one of these in a while. Like, I used to have one, and then I sold it. I got one from Sassiato a really long time ago. Then I sold it. Uh, for, I was buying something. I don't remember what it was. And then, you know, haven't had one since then. Surface looks good. It looks good. Back surface looks pretty good. I mean, there's a couple, like, they're, like, not really dense, but they're, like, in, they're like small indents. There's a little bit of stuff going on there. Overall, this is a pretty good condition card. Pretty fair, at least. Fair is probably an understatement, but you know, I think that's like a real condition they use in like Europe or something. Here's one. I don't know. Have I ever owned this card? I think maybe a long time ago I had one. Because I, back when cards were like $300 max, I owned a lot of cards, you know? And then, the, you know, they changed hands and stuff. I sold them or whatever, but uh, they got a little bit too expensive to like pick them up anymore. Here we go, Flame Wing Man. We saw one of these at Collecticon. Yu-Gi-Mo picked it up. There's a little scuffing at the top. Or not scuffing, but uh, edge wear. That's like it, though. This card looks great. If it wasn't for that scuffing, or not scuffing. If it wasn't for the edge wear, this card would be like literally amazing. Like really, really nice, but still awesome. We're not going to go through every card because obviously there's way too many nice cards here. But I did want to show some of the big ones to see like... You know, you guys can let me know how much you think this is worth because we're talking big cards in good condition. So we don't have that every day. So let's see what we can uh, see out of here. Ancient Gear Golem. Ancient Gear Golem. Beautiful card. Beautiful card. I've tried to grade like these multiple times and I always get nines. This one looks like a really nice card. Like this one looks minty. This one looks great. I've had a couple that look like this. They both got nines. So we'll have to see. All right, Tempest time. Time for a little a little storm action. Elemental Hero Tempest. This is unlimited, but it also looks like a Euro print, which is really nice. Very, very beautiful. Back looks very good. I mean, this card just looks great. I mean, very nice looking cards here. Chaos Neos, here we go. Beautiful, beautiful. Wow, that is super clean on the front. Back's clean, except it has this line through it, which having something, it's almost like a roller mark, like in Magic. That's what kind of what it looks like. It's like not like a print line. It's just like a weird kind of not dent either. I don't even know how to print line or the roller marks, how I would describe it. All right, let's check out this Rampart Blaster for the last one because we have spent a little bit of time checking these out. I think this is one we can check out. I do have a PSA 9 of this card that we graded from Collecticon, which is pretty cool. But uh, this is a Euro print one. Check this out. Really nice. I mean, you can tell it looks a little bit different than the, uh, the American print. Back looks pretty good. I mean, we are talking great condition for the most part. On average, near mint on this collection. Like most of the cards that I've checked out so far are near mint. Some are slightly below, some are slightly above. This is going to be a fun one. I mean, this is going to be quite expensive. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all these awesome cards because this is one of the coolest collections we've ever picked up. I'm really excited to actually pick it up. A few moments later. All right, I just wanted to add this little part to the end of the video because we recently didn't buy a collection that I showed and a lot of people messaged me like, hey, can I buy these? This one we did end up buying, and we officially just closed the deal. I paid for it. It was $17,500. So you can let me know if your guests at the beginning were close. You know, you guys can see what you're we thinking because a lot of people comment before the end of the video, which is good. So that way you can, uh, you know, see how you did right there. But uh, this is the most expensive collection we've ever bought. And I think it was worth being that expensive because these cards actually turned out to be, for the most part, really nice condition. What you saw on the ones we looked at were pretty even across the board, like most cards were like that. Very few under light play. There was a few like mod plays because they like binder dings or whatever, but barely anything, almost everything looked really good. So I wanted to add this at the end, let you guys know that uh, I did buy this collection. So some of this will be for sale, of course, because can't just eat $17,500. But actually some of this, I think maybe we'll send into PSA, which is gonna be pretty fun. So look out for those PSA graded videos. I'm actually really excited. I don't think most of it can be graded, but some of it can, and some of the nicer stuff we're gonna send in, probably at the faster rate and get it back in a couple weeks. So there's the update. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content. Shout out to Toe Info Show, Daxter, Tomato Juice, JT Cho, TCG Trusted Cards, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Dizzy Flexi Boy, Hoppus, Choice 333, Micycle, Melancholy, Ananas High Show, Christopher Ward, Ian Musa, John Nolan, Junior Barding, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Stanley, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.